In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy an angle using Geometer Sketchpad. Now, there's going to be something that's slightly different when you use Geometer Sketchpad as compared to using your compass. Um, if I have a circle like this, and I want to make a circle of the same length, there's the only way I can do that is by knowing how long the radius is of the first circle. So what I need to do always is I need to actually make a radius in the circle. Then to make a copy of this circle, what I need to do is start with a point and then choose the radius of the circle I want to make an equivalent circle to and then go ahead and construct circle by center and radius. So basically then if I change the size of one it changes the size of the other but the key thing is that I need a segment that's the radius in order to be able to construct an equivalent circle so that's going to be important when we make the uh, when we copy an angle so let's go ahead and start with an angle so we'll make two rays there's my, there's my angle. Let's go ahead and quickly choose the three points that are on the angle. And so let's say I go ahead and draw a line here. And I basically want to make a copy of angle I, J, K on this line. So I already have two points that I can use these two. And basically the f what I want to first do is draw or construct a circle and find these points of intersection here. So this is basically exactly like we did it with our compass and straight edge. So if I look at these two points here N and O, I need to create a circle from L that's the same length as JN, has the same radius as this, so that I have the same equivalent circle down here. Well, in order to do that, unfortunately, I need to have a segment that I can use, a radius that I can use to create the circle down here. So I'm going to go ahead and go from J to N, and that's going to be my radius. So now, to do the same circle down here, I'll click on the center of the circle, L, click on the radius of the circle that I want it to be, and then construct circle by center and radius. Okay. Now this intersection point here is going to be the same as point O. So I'm going to show that. Now what I want to do is do a circle that goes from here to here. I want to basically make a circle this long. But again, I can't make a circle the same length from here to here unless I know how long, how far it is from the center to the edge. So I need to know the radius of this small circle now. So again, I need to actually make a segment from O to N. Then I'm going to make a copy of that. So again, this is the center of the circle that I'm going to be making. Clicking on that radius, I now construct that with circle by center and radius. Now where those intersect is the same as point N in this angle. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show that label. And then I'm going to create the ray that goes from L and through G Q. So it's a little bit complicated, but basically now I have these two angles are going to be the same. If I change one, I change the other. So let me go ahead and hide everything just so that it's clear.
And now if I move that angle, the other angle moves with it. If I try to move the copied angle, nothing happens. Because this is basically, I'm basing this angle completely on this first angle here. Okay.